Can the return of a bond get a boost even if interest rates don't change? This is the concept of riding the yield curve. Let's say this is my term structure of spot rates and this is a simple six-year coupon bond. I can use these spot rates to discount the cash flows of this bond to arrive at the theoretical value of this bond as of today and this turns out to be $100. I can do this valuation also by first implying from my spot rates a term structure of forward rates for periods all of which start one year from today. If I were to make this assumption that these forward rates after one year become the spot rates, then using this assumed term structure of spot rates, I can discount the remaining cash flows of my bond to arrive at its value one year from today. And this value turns out to be 97.174. To this, I can add the year one coupon and then I can discount the sum of these two using the one year spot rate of 4% to arrive at the same value of $100. This valuation, it assumes that the priced in or assumed term structure of spot rates one year from today will be this term structure. Also, I can make use of these two values to calculate my holding period return for this one year period and it turns out to be 4% which is nothing but the year one spot rate. If at the end of the first year, my actual term structure of spot rates is not the priced in or assumed term structure but rather the same term structure that we started with which means interest rates have not changed. If I were to repeat this exercise of finding the value of my bond one year from today this time using this term structure this value comes out to be higher which makes the holding period return also go up. This is riding the yield curve at work. Essentially, we started with an upward sloping term structure which prices in higher interest rates in the future. If at the end of the period we do not encounter the priced in term structure of spot rates but rather the same term structure or relatively the same term structure that we started with, this produces a negative surprise or a spread because of which the valuation of our bond at the end of the period now picks up lower rates than what we had priced in which pushes up the price of the bond and also its return.